video is going to be on wedging. Wedging is taking clay. In the old days, they took it out of the ground, they processed it, and they did all that. We take it out of our recycle buckets, and we wedge it. Wedging is getting the air bubbles out of it, getting the consistency even, uh, and so it's usable. Um, it's a real important part of what you're going to do in this class. You're going to use wedging for most of the clay you use in here except the head and the second time you're throwing. So the way we start wedging is I'm going to go over the recycle bucket. This is a recycle bucket with yucky clay in it. I'm going to pull out some yucky clay. You'll notice there's air all through this. There's hard spots and soft spots. So I'm going to make this at the end into a really great ball of clay that we can use for whatever we do. Okay, when you start wedging, it's a good idea just to squish the clay. Sometimes you're going to find little weird things in there. Somebody put something in there, like that's too hard, take it out. Uh, so when you get it sort of, you're pretty sure the clay's what you want, now you're ready to wedge. So wedging's like kneading. You've seen people at pizza places do that. Well, it's going to be the same thing. If I need this clay standing close and pushing this way, it's going to be all arms. If I take my leg and I put it behind me like this, then the wedging is going to allow me to use the full weight of my body. So here I go. I'm going to take the clay and push it down. My body is pushing it down. I push it down again and again. And every time I push it down, I'm blending the clay. I'm mixing the hard spots with the soft spots, and it's getting more consistent. By pushing it, the air gets squished out the bottom, and I get rid of those air pockets that are in there. So we just do this. Now, while you're pushing your clay, you want your hands actually to get behind it. Pull it up and push it down. Pull it up and push it down so that the clay stays in a nice, even shape. Okay, wedging clay, that's what I'm doing. When you wedge the clay and you push it down, if you poke a hole there and you poke a hole there and one there, kind of looks like a face. You know, that's what say. Anyhow, that's what it should look like when you're wedging. Here we go, wedging. So, while you're wedging, every once in a while you want to see if you've done what you needed to do, which is to get all of the air pockets out. So, just stop. Take the clay, put it into a mound. Grab yourself a wire tool and cut it in half. Now, when you cut it in half, if you feel resistance, I felt a little hard spot there, that means the, I haven't got the consistency yet. When I open it, I'm going to find out if I've got all the air bubbles out. So, well, actually there's no air bubbles in there. I'm going to create some so the next time you can see it. But right there is a hard spot. Here I go wedging again, right? Now this time when I cut it, you should see an air bubble. And voila, that's an air bubble. So if you wedge it and you have an air bubble, that's a problem. All right, let's finish wedging this. Push, leg behind you, looks kind of like a face. When you're done, wedge it a bunch of times. Oh, by the way, while you're wedging, if one spot gets too dry or too wet, just move to the other spot. It'll make it easier to wedge. All right, I think I've wedged this long enough. I think all of the inconsistencies gone. Has a nice shape. I'm going to pound it into a ball, and let's cut this in half and see if it's ready. It felt good, and voila, a well-wedged piece of clay, and that's wedging.